Hi, I'm Jesse McCready. I'm with Animodule. Check out my modules at Animodule.com. Today we're going to go over the two functions on the gate mod, the interrupt and the division functions. On paper, they're pretty simple. The division function, once the gate begins, it will run its course and disregard all other incoming clock pulses. The interrupt function will reset if you send another clock pulse while it's running it's, it's gate throw and it'll restart without going to zero now in a few cases that is actually not handy because if your gate length is set longer than your clock pulses it'll never go to zero so you just got a steady high like uh, here's a Here's a steady clock input one. This is the division function. You can see it divides your clock pulses by two because you get two pulses for every one gate output. I think I said that backwards, but you, you know what I'm saying. So, uh, now here is the interrupt function. The gate length is set longer than the interval between clock pulses. And it never goes low. Once it's triggered, it keeps getting reset near the end of its uh, gate length. So let's uh, move it a little closer. So here we are in for a closer view. We're looking at the gate mod. You want to watch the pink and the blue LED, the clock, and the gate output. Here is the uh, an interrupted clock pulse. So the first one is just the first channel on this STD here. The second one is the first and the second channel running at different clock rates and it's the exclusive OR output. So there you go. The gate length is still too long. We're going to bring the gate length down a little bit. a few of them but whenever there's enough time for it to run its full cycle and then settle it will now here's the uh, division see it behaves a lot differently now if you're wondering here's the uh, what the exclusive or sounds the exclusive for output sounds like that's just a uh, little monster VCO running into another SOB and the vectoral input is being triggered by the exclusive or output on the STD Stays on about a length and a half in between the clock. 
clock pulses. But that's fine. It runs its cycle, stops, and waits for the next clock pulse. The interrupt, it never comes down because it keeps getting reset before the gate cycle has finished. So like I said, probably not very useful on a steady clock pulse unless you're just using it to change the gate length. <laughs> which <laughs> to modify the gate lag. Uh, in which case it doesn't make much difference so long as the gate length you're aiming for is shorter than in between clock pulses. Now here you go, here's with a stagger with a staggered clock input. And you got boom 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 on the interrupt, it'll stay on for the first two and a half. And since you have a space, since you have a rest there, it has time to run its full cycle and stop. Now this, you know, this can change depending on how long you have the gate length. You can set the gate length up so it won't stop until you have a two count rest or, or longer, just as for instance. In order to division, you get a, uh, it's on for a count and a half, waits for the next count, on for a count and a half, and so on and so forth. It's still staggered, but it's different. Which is why I added the two different functions, because as much as the interrupt function is not all that useful in a four on the floor clock beat, a study clock pulse, you can do interesting stuff with it when you are using staggered clocks. And I run almost everything I do through some sort of exclusive or even the analog ones on the uh, triple XOR. Although these are just running the, it's just getting used as a mult right now, as a logic mult. So. There's the difference between the interrupt and the division functions on the Animodule Gate Mod. So there you have it. The, uh, that's why I included the interrupt function on the Gate Mod. You can do neat stuff. So you're running with a sequencer and you can set the gate outputs. Per step, like the Animodule V9A, you do interesting stuff with different modulations of the gate length and between the interrupt and the division functions. So, I'm Jesse McCready, I'm with Animodule. Check out my modules at animodule.com.